investigative journalist and author of The President's Keepers, Jacques Pau, has responded to economic freedom fighters leader, Julius Malema, saying he will not apologize. Malema, during a press conference on Wednesday, the 4th of July 2018, threatened to take legal action against Pau after the journalist suggested that Malema had been saved by a controversial cigarette smuggler to settle his tax bill. Pau made the accusation on social media, accusing Malema of securing money from Adriano Marzotti to resolve his tax woes. The author believes this, to be among the reasons EFF chairperson, Dalim Pofu, is defending suspended SARS boss, Tom Moyani. Malema called Pau a liar, and said he authorized a lawyer's letter giving Pau three days to withdraw the statement that claimed Marzotti paid his tax through a loan. I have no such loan, said Malema. Pau responded in an explosive letter that surfaced on Friday morning, you call on me to set the record straight. You are right, I was wrong in saying that you received a loan from Marzotti to pay your tax bill. You in fact received a 1 million rand loan from Gil Phillips, a business partner of Marzotti and his co-director in Kana Links, an independent tobacco company. This was reported in the Sunday Times and other newspapers in 2015. The Sunday Times quoted your lawyer as saying that you took the loan from Phillips after another benefactor failed to make a payment to you. The newspaper said that you had admitted to SARS that you had received a 1 million rand loan from Phillips. You never denied any of these reports. I therefore assume that it is safe to say that it was true that you had received a 1 million rand loan from Phillips. Pau said he would not apologize as Marzotti and Phillips were partners in crime, as they both had a 16.6% share in Carney Links. Pau claims the 200,000 rand paid by Carney Links in 2014 for the EFF's registration could be seen as Malema accepting the proceeds of crime. His letter continued, after Tom Moyani became SARS commissioner in October 2014, the Carner Links tax bill simply disappeared. When I wrote my book, I found a document dated March 2016, written by a SARS executive, and addressed to none other than Moyani's henchman, Jonas Marquiqua. The letter summarized a meeting with Carner Links. The executive recommended that, since Karna Links was investigated by the rogue unit, the entire case should be re-audited. He recommends that the letters of finding against Karna Links be withdrawn. Karna Links, Marzotti, Phillips and the others were off the hook. Years of painstaking examination and probing went down their drain. Pau ended the letter with a potent question to Malema. Do you know that apartheid assassin, Craig Williamson, was one of his business partners? And that you have been photographed with Marzotti in the presence of self-confessed killer and gangster, Mickey Schultz? Thanks for watching. Please comment, like, share and subscribe.